another thing that I felt like I learned very much from living in Japan for a year, um, other than the Issei Shrine, was I spent a lot of time in Japanese gardens and this, this sort of way of wandering and then having the garden completely choreographed so that you would come to these moments that seemed like a natural discovery, but were actually carefully, carefully laid for you, um, even to the point where you'd have a step where you'd, you'd have to look down to make that step. And when you looked up, there would be sort of a scale shift landscape, you know, in a tree. That that's how the, the gardening, you know, not opposite of Versailles, where you had the center that told so, you what so to stand. So it's a feeling of improvisation, which isn't really that. Yeah, and so in these pieces as well, in the picture, it may look extremely chaotic, but when you go to the piece, I believe, you, I believe in, in real time and real space, things draw you into these locations that, that, that feel very composed within the chaos.